Hey, what's up there everybody? So today I'm gonna to show you how to uninstall and manage your games on the Xbox Series S, X, and Xbox One. Whether you're just looking to free up some space, delete some DLC, or just some add-ons that you no longer need, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now it's fairly simple. If you happen to have the game on your home screen, you can just go ahead and press the menu button and then go to manage game and add-ons from there. However, if your game is not appearing on the front screen here, then you could go to my game and apps up top, or if it's not there, you could press the Xbox home button and go to my games and apps right here. Once you're there, you could go ahead and just press see all and it will bring you to this screen here. Now this is going to show you where all your games are downloaded as well as your applications. Now just keep in mind the applications you see here are the, the default applications and they cannot be uninstalled. So that's things like the Game Pass app, HDR, Game Calibration, Microsoft Edge, and all of these other ones as well. Now for games, it depends on the game. So for something like an Xbox 360 game, all you got to do is press the menu button, go to manage game and add-ons. And then from there, you're going to click on the first tile. It's going to show you the game as well as any add-ons or DLC that you may have with it. If it's checked, then it means it's installed. If it's unchecked, it just means you don't have it installed on your system. If you want to go ahead and remove this, just click on whatever you need to remove. It'll tell you will remove and then you press save changes and it will uninstall whatever you select it. Now, if you want to go ahead and delete save data, like your save files and whatnot, you could go down to where it says save data and you could go and delete your save data from there. Now, some games are different, like Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. If you go to manage games and add-ons for that, it is going to show a little bit more. So as you see here, it has a tab for downloads and uh, add-ons. So I have DLC here. And if you wanted to, if you beat the DLC, you no longer need it, you could go ahead and unselect those, save changes, and it will remove the DLC. I also have some pre-ordered bonuses here, so I could go ahead and remove those since it's already used, no longer need it. You got 30 megabytes of space right there being taken up for something you don't need. Select those you could go ahead and remove that now if you have some extra stuff that you don't have installed it'll show you that it's not installed you could go ahead and select those save and it would install those now for something like call of duty which is extremely big uh takes up a lot of space and is very complex because it's multiple games under one title so if you go to call of duty you'll have your base game which is what's needed in order for any type of game if you happen to be uh, playing modern warfare 3 modern warfare 2 modern warfare 1 whatever it may be if you want one of those games installed you are going to have to have the base game installed uh, as you see here you have warzone 2 which is its own separate thing you also have the multiplayer for modern warfare 3 the campaign for modern warfare 2 co-op i'm no longer playing those so i unselected those um, you have the Modern Warfare 3 campaign. I beat it when I had unselected that so that it was removed. You also have a couple add-ons. Certain things are needed. As you see here, content packs, certain content packs are required in order to play multiplayer. Um, if you don't have it installed and you unselected it and uninstalled it, if you go to play the game, it will tell you you need it and it will just prompt you to download those. So just keep that in mind. But as you see here, the cross-gen pack one and two, I got content packs. All this is unselected, it's not installed, but if you want to go ahead and uninstall anything, you just deselect, save changes. It'll show you exactly how much space you're saving. 41.5 gigabytes is going to be freed up, and then it'll just press save changes, and it'll uninstall. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to go ahead and download a game that you once had installed, you could go to full library, and from there, it'll show you all the games that you've had previously downloaded. You could go over one to own games and it'll show you all the games that you currently have uh, owned under your account, whether or not it's your account or a shared account on the Xbox. And it's pretty straightforward. You can just go ahead, select it, install all, and it will just install everything that's available for the game. Or you could go to manage game and add-ons. And once again, you could go through the different things that you want to download uh, for FIFA or, but if I wanted to download a game that had DLC or add-ons and I went to that page and pressed install all, it should install everything, not just the base game itself. For example, uh, for example Cold War has all of this, it has the Dead Ops Arcade, it has the multiplayer and everything. So if I installed all, it would install all of this and not just the base game and the campaign or just the multiplayer. So that is something to keep in mind if you want to go ahead and download or re-download a game just like that. But yeah, but that's pretty much it. So this is how you uninstall, manage your games on the Xbox Series S, X, and the Xbox One. If you happen to have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.